best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan, I seen that. Extra. Oh, oh no! What's happening? Oh, extract. Good. Oh man, this is overly complicated. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, what just happened? So I started the theme song, but I have to turn your audio all the way off. Otherwise, they can still hear you. So I was in the process of turning it off, and you started singing. So then I was yelling at you about singing. Then I right. flipped us over, and then the theme song started playing again. <laughs> oh, see, I don't hear the music. So I just hear, all right, extract. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh, extract, extract, extract. What a terrible movie this was. I was so disappointed that you'd asked me to watch this. Really? Yeah. Tell me, why don't you break it down? Okay. So this movie is about Jason Bateman. He owns a vanilla extract company. Yeah, just an extract company. They, sure think They specialize in <laughs> making extracts, different flavors. Yeah, not just vanilla. That's what that was the point. He is in a boring relationship with his wife, played by Kristen Wiig. Yeah. And he he's just kind of unhappy in general. One day, a con artist by the name of Mila Kunis shows up. Yes. And uh, decides to... Oh, so she sees in the newspaper... Oh, okay. I am so bad. I don't know why you make me do this. <laughs> I'm so terrible well, okay. at explaining plots. You said you liked it, so I was like, here. I'll give you a chance to sell it, to you know, explain the good parts and why you like it. All right, I'm gonna sell it. All right, sell it. Jason, J- Jason Bateman, Ben Affleck, J.K. Simmons, T.J. Miller, Hank Hill, Mila Kunis, from, Kristen Wiig from King of the Hill. Hank Hill, who's Hank Hill? Yeah, Mike Judge. He he directed this movie, and oh, he's Mike also Judge. a character in the movie. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't realize he was a character. He he's only in like one or two scenes at the end. He's the dude who wears a hat. He works in the factory. Gotcha. He's the one who was pushing for a strike. Yeah. Uh, so we got an all-star studded cast. Yep. I don't think and, that's a uh, thing. An all-star studded. Star studded all-star <laughs> cast. Star studded cast. There you go. Put an that together. You got an all-star cast. studded cast. <laughs> A star spangled cast of right. studs. All right, so we got we have a cast of studs. Sell this Basically, movie. Sir. What's good about there it? There is a there is an accident an at accident. the factory. Yes, the dude from Westworld the, gets his testicle shot off. Yeah, by what a bottle cap? What what hit him? I'm not exactly sure what hits him. Yeah, something because just one almost testicle. all of the employees who work at this factory are doofuses yeah they're not good at their jobs and an accident happens yes he is in line to get a settlement uh upwards of what they say could be a million dollars mila kunis is a con artist she sees this and decides to take advantage of it so she gets herself hired at the company so she can get closer to the guy uh trip i believe was his name step step (laughs) pretty (laughs) close close. trip step Skip, fall. Uh, yeah. Fall? That's not a good one. <laughs> fall. Prance? So she can get close to him so she can get in on that sweet, sweet moolah. Mm, sweet, sweet moolah. Um, inadvertently, she makes Jason Bateman pretty much fall in love with her by it, doing her fake. <clears throat> well, yes, by kind of flirting with him um, to eventually get the information she needs to find. Tr- step, not trip. Yeah. Jason Bateman uh, is unhappy in his marriage. It's kind of boring. And so he talks to his friend Ben Affleck, who is uh, a little kooky. Who is great. He does a lot of drugs. By the way, Ben Affleck did really oh, I good thought he was things. fantastic. Yeah. Only good part of this whole movie. Continue. And he gets him on some drugs and basically convinces him that if he wants to have an affair with Mila Kunis... He should get his wife to have an affair with someone. Therefore, it will be guilt-free. Yes. So since he's on drugs and alcohol, he thinks this is a great idea. So they concoct a plan. And uh, Ben Affleck is friends with a a gigolo. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, 
and basically has the guy uh, pose as the new pool boy and then is to have sex with Kristen Wiig. Yes. And Jason Bateman goes along with the whole plan because he is uh, inebriated and intoxicated, and I think those are the same things. Uh, after that, it happens, and but Jason Bateman wishes he could take it back, but it was too late. Come to find out, uh, it, it happens more than the one time he paid this guy for, and over the course of the movie, it happens like 15 times. Yes. So he decides, you know what? Fine. I'm going to do my thing with Mila Kunis. He finds her, confronts her, finds out that she's a thief and a, and a con artist. Well, basically. he goes he goes and gets high with Ben Affleck, and yes. they're at his Ben Affleck's buddy's house. And oh, yes. He tries calling Mila Kunis from that house and gets a busy tone. And then the the house owner, the guy who lives there, is like, "Here, let me try." He's like, "The reason why you're getting a uh, busy call because this is my house." And then Mila Kunis walks in the door, Ben Affleck leaves, and Jason Bateman gets punched. They don't explain why she lived there, if they were dating, if they were family, what. they just like, yeah, of course that she would be here. What do you mean? They just like want you to accept it. I did accept it. Yeah. It's a dumb, no problems. Dumb point. <laughs> dumb story beat. Go ahead. Um, Continue. Yeah, so basically, uh, while all this is going on, he is trying to sell the company because he doesn't really have the past for it anymore, and he wants to retire. And uh, what's it? The guy's from Kellogg? Uh, General Mills. General Mills, same thing. Uh, he's trying to sell it the company, but now there's this there's this incident, and if it ends up going to trial, it could uh, mess up the sale. So he wants step two just take a settlement which would be paid out by the insurance which he was going to do originally which he was going to do and Mila Kunis convinces him that he can get more money by going to Gene Simmons as a lawyer <laughs> which was awful uh, Gene Simmons without makeup yeah. is unsettling he's horrifying <laughs> and uh, basically he I don't know I'm all over the place with this one it's a garbage movie it's not garbage. It's garbage. It's not funny. There's it's funny. no jokes. Jason Bateman's funny. Jason Bateman is the exact same character. He was in Arrested Development. He was in Hitch. What's the problem with that? He's boring. His character is Wait, did bland. You, did you say Hitch? Not Hitch. I'm sorry. Hancock. His, his character is oh, right. intentionally boring. He's whiny and he's like... Just has no power for yeah, his he's life. Plain. Yeah. Okay. Does what? that sound like a fun character to watch? Yes. So you're like, oh, Jason Bateman's good. He does exactly the same thing he does in everything where he's boring. I think he's good in all those things that you named. He's exactly the same in all those things. What's the problem with that? He's boring. It works in Arrested Development because you have all the other characters to go against. He's playing the straight man to a crazy family. Okay. So he's not he's not the funny part in Arrested Development. He's what you bounce the funny off of. And yeah. they they tried to do that in this and it, it really did not work. The all the jokes were just exhausting. Like the the woman at the conveyor belt who kept just not doing her work and problems would happen. Did you think she was funny? No, she was very irritating. Yeah. But that was the point. No, I know. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you got a boring character. You have an irritating character. There, it's not It's it's not as bad as the week of, but it's the same issue. They're, they're making things that are irritating for you to watch and feel irritated by. David Koechner is the worst. Hold on. What is the week of? Remind me. <laughs> Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, their kids oh, are getting gosh, married. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, remember how it was like everything, all the jokes were like, Hey, you have this person in your life. You remember how much you hate them? That's what this movie yeah. felt like. It was like, you, you know, at work, how you have people who slack off and just complain all the time. They suck. Right. Well, here you go. Watch them for two hours. And it's, it's crazy. 
And because it's relatable, though. That's what but makes it's, it. It's not fun. It's not funny. They're they're not they're not telling jokes. They're all the joke is, here's an annoying person, right? Okay. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I don't see the problem with that. It's not fun. That's the problem. There's no. They're not. They're not being clever. Those people aren't getting their comeuppance. There's no like. Oh yeah, that they that person that I hate in my actual life that this character reminds me of. They're not doing anything bad to that character to make you feel like, oh, that would be funny if it happened to the person I know. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not using that annoyance. They're just pinpricking you with annoyance so you relate to it. Yeah. But that's not even so, that's that's the minor issue that I have with this stupid movie. There's oh no boy. there's no point. There's no moral to the story. Jason Bateman No, there's not. Jason Bateman I agree with that. gets the gigolo to sleep with his wife 15 times on accident whatever uh she does it automatically with no resistance like i when when you find out that it went it it happened that he actually the gigolo went through with it i was like oh he's he went to the wrong house because they established the gigolo's stupid he doesn't know what he's doing i assumed oh he went to david keckner's house and slept with david keckner's wife and that's going to be the the big, you know, comeuppance where Jason Bateman's going to be going after me, Lacunas. She's going to reject him because she's not really interested. He's going to think that his wife is sleeping with the gigolo, but she's not actually. So he's trying to cheat on his wife who's not doing anything wrong. Nope. Turns out she's just a dirtbag and is willing to sleep with the pool boy as soon as he gives her attention. There's no. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's not. The movie doesn't say anything about it. It doesn't make any judgment on any of the characters actions they're like you know people do bad things oh well like okay just here you go sometimes people will do bad things we're not gonna we're not gonna judge we're not gonna say anything about it just here here it is okay that's that's fine that you You're don't want you're not going to mic judge <laughs> it's fine if you don't want to be judgmental but you can't make a movie you can't tell a story and it'd be entertaining if you're just gonna lay the facts out about what happened if you're not gonna give a point to why you're telling the story it, otherwise you might as well watch the news like the news is not fun because there's no well the, the news sucks because <laughs> a lot of sucky stuff happens but do you know what i'm saying like there's no there's you're not i know what you think you're saying all right so why am i wrong because it's funny it's not funny what's funny about it where's the jokes uh, I liked Adam's not Adam Sandler. I liked Ben Affleck. <laughs> ben Affleck was funny. Uh, I'll like, give you that. I liked. But I liked he J.K. Was, Simmons' character. J.K. Simmons was fine. He didn't do anything. He is just like. No, he doesn't. But he's funny. He he did have the one line where he kept calling everyone uh, dirtbag. Dinkus. Dinkus. Uh, that that was a funny moment. I'll give you that too. Uh, ben Affleck was funny, but that was because he was so different than any of the characters he's ever played. Yeah, and that that was the joke. Hey, look at Ben Affleck being a stoner. Is a lot. It was pretty similar to when uh, um, Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder. Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder. But I was gonna say James Franco in uh, Pineapple Express was like the 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 mo the biggest joke. Like James Franco did a much better job in Pineapple Express, but the joke was mm-hmm. like, oh, here's this guy who's normally you know really clean cut, being this dirt bag. Ben Affleck being clean cut, being the dirt bag. Tom Cruise being clean cut, being the dirt bag. Like that's the joke. Yeah. The, his his okay. writing was right. not that good for Ben Affleck. Uh, I thought T.J. Miller was funny. I hated T.J. Miller in this. He was so uh, you annoying. Would. I don't really like T.J. Miller as it is. Like he's yeah, I know. He's funny sometimes. I liked him in Cloverfield. Like. That was the perfect amount of T.J. Oh, Miller. Oh, his, his funniest role to date. It, it was the perfect amount of T.J. Miller in a role that I can think of. Was it Cloverfield? Where he's behind the camera making jokes, you know, like side comments about everything happening. Hmm. hmm. That's a weird choice. What would you say? About his best role? Yeah, like your favorite role of his. 
I haven't uh, watched. I haven't watched Silicon Valley. Uh, that would probably be it. Yeah, I would say that's that's right here. I know Thomas Middleditch is super funny, and the show is supposed to be really. Oh, good. he's great. Yeah. Uh, but I, I just haven't seen it yet. That's it's a great show. Um, I don't know. Now I'm blanking on T.J. Miller movies. No. Yeah. But so I, I yeah I don't know this movie it ends, right? Mila Kunis. Nothing happens to her. She nope. She she moves on. She gets caught, but gives back the purse, and just takes yep. off, steals Gene Simmons' car, and she's just off in the wind. There's no like. There's I don't even know. There, like I I don't need her to be like destroyed or you know taken down or whatever it's just weird to have this you know person who came in and was stealing and like cheating and doing all this bad stuff and nothing happened to him like nothing changed same with uh jason bateman he he got his wife to sleep with his gigolo and at the end of the movie they're like let's we could just be back together right and they're like yeah okay let's do that like there's no yeah. there was no development it just happened and they're like uh, we no don't don't get me wrong there's not a lot of character development but it's it's i don't know it's just one of those movies that i don't need it to make a whole lot of sense i just i just like it so deal with it <laughs> i just i just don't know why you even like it for that like i i, I know there's a ton of movies that i don't like but I can at least see, like, oh, okay, I get why people like this. I just don't feel Spider-Man like... Spider-Man 2. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't feel like there was anything that happened in this movie to even like. It, it felt like a huge waste of time. Uh, wrong. <laughs> and that's all I can say about it. There's no counterpoint. All right. Well, you got to have to say something here about this movie because I've run out of things to say. Oh... There's nothing else to say. What, where would this movie fall on your rating system? Uh, negative three. Negative three? Yeah. It's 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 right behind the Left Behind movie? Yeah. Yikes. I give this movie a positive three. Nah, maybe a two. Maybe a three. I don't know. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I guess it's... Because you had fun watching me, it. Do you? Yeah. Do you want to hire a gigolo for your wife? Is that what it is? You're trying to come up with a plan. I am the gigolo. Oh, gross. Yeah. No. It's. I mean, too, I'm not that was, good. That was I've never personal. actually been hired. <laughs> I don't want to know about you and your wife anymore. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still looking for work, but it's Mm-mm. out there. Um, I don't know. I, it's it's. It's just a simple movie. I don't have to think too much about it. I just watch it. Yep. And that's all I got. All right. Well, this is a short episode. What do you want to talk about next week? We normally decide this before recording, but we did not do that. Well, do we still have a viewer? (sighs) I believe so. I guess we could take some suggestions. <laughs> I'm really open, I'm open to opening suggestions, ourselves up, <laughs> but like this is the weirdest way to ask for it. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> All right, Flame Vortex, you have a choice for a movie that you would like us to do. He says he's still here, but I don't know if he has one because we don't have one prepared. Oh, he's got a good one. He says, "Oh boy." Have we already done it? Now the expectation is high. There's a good chance. Is it good because it's good or good because it's bad? I don't know. I hope it's good because it's bad. We'll see. You you would rather have a bad movie? I prefer bad movies, yeah. I don't like watching them, but I like talking about them more. That's true. Just got to look it up real quick. All right, Taylor, sing a song. Taylor and Alan Some worse talking version of this. about movies. Remember that time I had you sing the entire Bohemian Rhapsody song and then cut it out of the I thing because it was so annoying? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh, that was good times. 
Yes. Let's just talk about how terrible of a person you are. Me? If you could sing well, then I wouldn't have to cut stuff out. That's something a terrible person says. <laughs> I, I still I still have no idea about that aftershave story you told. I'm serious. Ask your mom and see if she remembers. I don't talk to my mom anymore. Oh, that's right. Since the incident. <laughs> it was aftershave. The aftershave incident. I she don't, hasn't spoken to you since then. I don't think that she's going to remember that. I feel like that's a story that would have been told a lot. Like... The time my brother gave you that dog fuzz sandwich, they oh, never geez, stopped yeah. talking about that. Uh, before I fall, before I fall, 2017, I I have not heard of that. Have you, Taylor? I it it sounds familiar. I feel like it's a like a Nicholas Sparks movie. Is it? I I have no idea. Remember when I said I haven't heard of it? I vaguely remember that you saying that. <laughs> All right. Well. Next week, uh, next episode, next week, next Sunday, right? We getting back on Sunday schedule? Uh, uh, potentially, yes. Potentially, probably on Tuesday again. Uh, we will do probably before I fall. We'll find out what that is, and uh, it should be a good one. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. So subscribe to us on YouTube. All that good stuff. Also, like our MySpace page. Uh, <laughs> we are going to be hosting a drawing for a top eight space. Oh, are we doing that? So if you, wanna get we, your, if you wanna get your page up there. Who are we kicking off our top eight? Uh, probably Tom. Tom, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Tom from MySpace. <laughs> oh, MySpace. Also, uh, I believe that our episodes are available to download off of Napster. Now. Oh, did we get on Napster? I knew we were on Kazaa. We are we're finally on Napster. I didn't know we got on the Napster. That's cool. It's a big moment for us. Yeah. Send us a message. So Napster, over, Facebook, Facebook. Over on AIM. Let us know. Uh yeah, give us give us your AOL screen names <laughs> and we will instant message you back. Did they were they called SNs? I feel like that used to be a thing, right? You S dash or uh forward slash N. I don't remember that. No. Maybe I just made that up. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Kid. Let's <laughs> I don't know. What are we doing? Let's uh let's wrap this up. Thanks, uh Flame Vortex hanging out with us. Appreciate it. And uh we will do before I fall next. It'll it'll either it'll <laughs> we'll record it next week, uh and then it'll go up in a few weeks from then. <laughs>